closed door meeting tonight brought Chicago priests together to talk about the sex abuse scandal ripping the church apart. Meantime, survivors seized the moment to speak out. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar is live in Mundelein where the priests gathered tonight. Charlie. Rob, good evening. That meeting was closed to the public and reporters, and there was an officer standing in front of the seminary for much of the day as Cardinal Blaise Supich reportedly spoke openly about the Catholic Church sex scandal with area priests. I was molested by an Augustinian priest in 1980-81 uh, time frame. Ken Kazmars is a survivor of priest sex abuse. It's very encouraging that we're finally getting large numbers of people to listen to us and say, wow. I was abused every single day at the school. Bill Reedy, also a survivor, coming face to face with his truth after more than 30 years. I was sexually abused by a priest at Loyola Academy from 1976 to 1979. Both men speaking out as Cardinal Blaise Supich holds a private meeting at the University of St. Mary of the Lake and Mundelein Seminary, inviting priests within the Archdiocese of Chicago to talk about the sex scandal and raise any concerns they may have. I'm tired of asking bishops to do the right thing and priests stop listening to their words because words are empty and they're cheap. Kate Bakhti of the Survivors Network of those abused by priests says there's been a jump in survivors coming forward since the explosive Pennsylvania Attorney General report, which found that some 300 priests abused more than a thousand children. This church, with all the good it's done in the world over the years, is, is marred forever by the child sex abuse scandal. The closed door and heavily secured meeting in Mundelein comes just one day before a group of senior U.S. bishops will meet with the Pope, in part addressing the removal of Cardinal Theodore McCarrick following allegations of abuse and who knew what and when. I think what they got to do is just clean house, get rid of everybody, yeah. start all over. There's no reason for anyone to believe that this Pope, this Cardinal, is going to do anything substantial to make sure that this doesn't happen again. Now, Cardinal Supich will not meet with the Pope tomorrow, but he does have plans to meet with him in February. Supich saying in a statement tonight that he is encouraged that the Pope is taking these steps, showing that the Pope is serious about sex abuse within the church. We are live tonight in Mundelein. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Rob. Okay, Charlie, thank you.